Hello everybody and welcome to the penultimate Friday of this academic year. That means that next Friday is the last day and I'm standing here on the top yard just thinking about yesterday. Yesterday many of you came into school and picked up your reports. It was just fantastic to see so many people here. It was quite emotional as well and there were indeed some tears from some people. But that was understandable because for some people it had been 16 weeks since they'd been on the school site and it was just magical seeing people walking up the field and onto the top yard and having a chance to see their teachers, pick up their reports, read their reports, find out who was going to be their teacher next year. There were lots of interesting hair that we saw from people during the day and really good to talk to people about their different experiences during lockdown and the different ways in which people had engaged with school. Some people said they'd loved doing the singing assembly and would sit down as a family and do it every week. People talked about the quest and how they'd got involved in making things and creating things and following the story. Some people talked about how they'd really enjoyed doing phonics, listening to stories, doing maths challenges and lots of people from year five and six talked about how they'd enjoyed using the Shobi uh, platform for their learning and again younger children with the tapestry. So it was really wonderful to see so many people here. Thank you for everyone that came. Next week we've got uh, a, a film that we've been making with year six that we're going to be showing to them on Thursday and then we're going to have a picnic and then it will be the end of the term. Next week though, in the post, you'll be getting a really exciting booklet, which will look a little bit like this, of 50 things to do over the holiday. These are all fun, exciting things and will help you to reconnect and get ready for September. Uh, it's been designed by people in school and it's very much along Thrive principles and I'm sure that you'll all enjoy it. And there will be some opportunities to meet up with other people from school and with ourselves uh, in that booklet. I can't wait till September. It's gonna be absolutely fantastic to have everybody back in school. And we'll be sending that information out next week. People have been beavering away, working on all the, all the finer details. And we're talking with uh, the rest of the staff team with our governors, with um, unions and everybody else that needs to be consulted about the arrangements we've got. So now I'm going to hand over to Mr McVitie for his golden roundup. Bye bye. Hello and welcome to this week's golden roundup. It was fantastic to see so many families on the schoolyard yesterday to collect their reports. When the sun began to shine on us around nine o'clock, I knew we were in for a fabulous day and it was so lovely to see everyone who came. Now it's time to share even more achievements and I'm going to begin with our Year One Bubbles. Year One Llamas. This week we created our own rainbow poems, thinking about objects that match different colours. Our two golden children both worked independently and thoughtfully, sounding out and spelling their ideas. Mrs Zaman has also noticed their incredible reading and knowledge of phonics. Well done. Aria and Theo. Year one, because. Our golden child has a wonderful attitude of trying their best and never giving up. They have been fantastic in phonics and reading, focusing on our daily sounds. They also did a great impression of characters from our Bob the Bubble story. Charlie, you are amazing. Moving on to our year six bubbles and beginning with year six alpacas. Our golden child this week has excelled throughout our algebra unit in maths, getting stuck into all of the problem solving questions with relish. Additionally, they have taken time and care over the year six leavers video, working with their team to produce what promises to be an unforgettable, unforgettable animation featuring a troop of mischievous monkeys. Well done, Sam. Year six buffaloes. Our golden child this week has impressed me with their fabulous attitude towards learning. They have produced an outstanding adventure story and had a growth mindset during our daily maths lessons. Well done, Mia. You are having a super week. Year six, Coates. 
Our golden child this week goes to a hilarious individual who works hard to produce great pieces of work. He overcomes any struggles and manages to smile through tough times. He has written a wonderful adventure story and made some lovely transitional bunting to decorate his table. Well done to Joseph. Year six dolphins, this week has been an absolutely superb week with laughter and happiness radiating throughout the bubble. Our golden child is a fantastic asset to our group. They created a spectacular adventure story during English called Lure. They worked so hard and incorporated so many descriptive elements into it to make it their best piece of writing yet. Well done to Logan. Now let's move on to our key family groups beginning with the Kingfishers. Everyone has been working really hard this week, but the child I've chosen is someone who has just joined the Kingfishers and settled in really well. He has injected lots of energy into our group, but also has a great work ethic, giving all learning tasks 100%. He particularly impressed me with his funny bones map. Well done to Benjamin. Time for our second key family group, the Jaguars. The Jaguars have been learning all about our world this week, looking at the continents, our oceans, and the seven wonders of the world. This week's golden child worked very hard on his recreation of the Great Wall of China in clay, and he was tempted to use the whole bag of clay to try and represent how big it really is. This child also took part in our little Hotspur Olympics where we all shared our sporting talents. He was a superb contortionist, showing balance and flexibility. Well done to Connor. As always, our final section of today's roundup gives us a chance to share some of the fabulous work taking place at home. Enjoy. In reception, Samuel has impressed his teacher with all of the work he has shared on tapestry over lockdown. This week's challenge was to listen to a description of an alien and draw what he heard. The result was fantastic. Year five have been using Shobi to learn about the main civilization. And this is a picture of Dea's brilliant model of Chichen Itza in Mexico. After that, you can see Ethan's wonderful face mask. In year one, Martha raised her own caterpillars. Helena, in reception, loves learning at home and it was her spooky alien which really impressed her teachers. She listened to the description and drew everything she heard. Year 4 had an exciting email from Sue Perkis, who is the author of one of the Year 4 Core Canon books. Many of you have sent in really interesting questions to send on to Sue and I'm certain she'll be eager to reply. Elsewhere this week in Year 4, Otto has been trying his best to mine some geode from his collection of intriguing rocks gathered from Fosterley. From year two, this is a photograph of some sweets Idris made. He was learning about insects and how they can be eaten. He ordered some and dipped them in sugar caramel to eat. And from year three, Ruby impressed her teacher by bringing along a wonderful compilation of home learning to the report collection yesterday. It was beautifully presented in her folder. Well done, Ruby. Keep up the fantastic work, everyone. See you next time.